Welcome back. Uh, well, for the markets, like we've been pointing out, um, you know, it's getting a little flattish for the Nifty as well at this point in time. So just about uh, 28 points higher. It's just about holding in the green. So let's see whether it manages to, manages to maintain that or not. In terms of a couple of losers, we have NTPC, Adani Ports, Dr. Reddy's, despite positive news, Apollo Hospitals ahead of its numbers, all of these stocks which are weak. Adani Enterprises recovered a tad bit from, um, you know, from the lows that we've seen, but still in the red as we speak. So down around a percent and a half currently for Adani Enterprises. But Mayur Uni Quotas, um, that stock is in focus. Uh, Q1 was a good quarter for them as uh, there was higher other income which aided profit growth while margins also expanded. We have Suresh Kumar Podar, who's the chairman and MD of uh, and CEO of Mayur Uni Quotas, who joins in uh, joins in to discuss the numbers. Uh, Mr. Podar, welcome to the show. Well, let's start with um, you know the overall performance for the company. Revenue was up around six odd percent this quarter, and it was down four percent on a Q1 Q basis. But you're guiding for fifteen to eighteen percent growth in FY25. So it's a two-part question. One is what resulted in a sluggish performance this quarter? And now are you changing your guidance, revising it downwards simply because of this quarter's performance? No, we are not to saying downwards. Uh, performance was good because of export. We had good exports and this export will continue. So, and the profit of margin should be same, plus, minus, maybe a little bit. But definitely, double digit growth will be there. And so, when you. Okay, we have start BMW also and from this month's full places. So, there is a very optimistic situation at the moment. So, you are optimistic about growth here on. Uh, you said that you are not changing your growth targets for this year. 15 to 18 percent is what you had spoken about earlier, and that is what you maintain. Uh, this is uh, uh, dependent on exports as well. So, can you tell us how much did exports grow in the first quarter? And for this year, what is the expectation? You see, in the first quarter, it has not grown much, but in this quarter, it will grow about 10 to 12 percent. Of course, this quarter has also increased about two to three percent. And because you know there was some problem in the USA, um, you know the factories were closed for two weeks for maintenance and all that. But from this month, it has started picking, and uh, this quarter will have good growth. In general export, there is a very good growth. But in export OEM, the growth was very less this quarter. But next quarter, it will definitely increase. Because what I am saying is according to the order which we have got in our head. And this was not that much because they have closed down for two weeks. Because of, uh, you know, there was a uh, little setback in the market from the automotive audience. But okay. now it will be. Okay. So can you tell us how much did you generate from your auto export business this quarter? And how much are you expecting it to generate in the coming three quarters, say, on an average quarterly basis, considering that this quarter had a one-off of two weeks of a disruption? You see, export OEM, this month, uh, this quarter, we have about more than 40 crores. And uh, now from second quarter, it will be definitely double-digit improvement from second quarter. So right. how much do you expect it to probably get to? Can you give us a figure uh, in terms of, you know, will it be a 10% growth on this 40 crores? Or give us a ballpark figure in terms of the absolute amount that you will probably generate. No, from export uh, OEM point of view, I'm saying that this quarter there will be minimum 10% growth and uh, total export will also grow, general export will also grow 10%. And what I'm saying that export growth will be totally in 10% minimum. 
All right, 10% export growth, uh, largely led by auto OEMs, which will also grow at around 10%. What about your yeah. domestic business? Uh, what is that likely to grow at this year? Footwear industry has been facing some challenges earlier, but with the BIS coming in, what is the expectation here? What is the kind of revenue that you can generate? In BIS, you see, footwear are not very confident. We'll go on like this, whatever is here, because still people are confused but it will not be less than this quarter because last quarter versus this quarter also the sale is not reduced so i think the sale will not reduce but it is difficult to say that how much it will increase it will definitely not reduce all right all right, uh, Mr. Pudar, well, uh, we're going to leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and speaking with us and uh, giving us that perspective. So sticking to uh, double-digit growth guidance is what Mayur Unicoders is expecting. Uh, they are expecting a pickup in the coming quarters, especially in the auto OEM business. We'll take a short break, but up next, we'll get you a lot more on the market. Stay tuned.